Hi everyone, I'm going to attempt to um, do a swirl with a melting floor soap. I've never done one before. You know, just always do layers and stuff like that. So I don't know how this is going to work out, but if not, it'll just be a purple color. The fragrance oil I'm using is the Lilacs in Bloom. And it's got a little bit of a skin on it. I'm wondering if I should even wait a little bit longer for it to cool. But I'm just going to drop some in. And just swirl. anything from the sides, but if I hold the camera up here, which I can't find my tripod, so... It kind of looks like that. Like, it looks a little swirly. You see, like a little swirly, so I don't know. I'm going to keep trying to do this. But that's how I'm trying to do it. I'm letting the white cool a little bit and then pouring the purple into it and just mixing it with the spoon. And keep spraying it with alcohol. So I'll see how this comes out and then um, put the camera back on and show you the rest. Alright? Bye. Okay, so I don't think the swirl thing worked all that great. So I just mixed some of it and swirled it. I guess when I cut it, I'll see what it looks like inside. But, so I'm spraying this layer with a bunch of alcohol. And in here I have the purple and I put some um, dried English lavender buds in it. Even though it's lilac, I just stuck some lavender in it for, um, you know, for a little decoration. And this should be cool enough that it won't sink in. So I'm just going to pour this layer. And the last layer I do is going to have the uh, embeds that I made. I love the smell of lilac. That. So I'm going to let that set up. And then the top layer is going to have these uh, swirls in it. And even though in the pitches, what I did was I melted it, the clear, the clear base with just some fragrance and some purple color. And what I do is I pour it right on the slab. This is a marble slab. So I pour it on the slab all over, and then when it cools, it takes like not even two minutes for it to cool. It cools so fast. Then what I do is I just take a knife, and I cut it into strips, and I roll them up. And then this is what they look like when they're all rolled. So I do it right on the slab. Just pour a thin layer and it just goes all over the place. Spray it with alcohol and then slice it into strips and roll it up. And that's how I made my uh, my little curly things here. Alright, so I'm going to shut the camera off, wait for this to cool, and then do the final layer with all these embeds in it and I'll show you that. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so on top of that um, layer that has the um, lavender buds in it, I waited for that to cool. I sprayed it with alcohol and I put a thin layer of the white. I don't know if you can see it. And then I stuck my embeds in. 
sprayed them with alcohol. And I'm going to wait for the rest of the white to cool a little bit before I pour it all over the rest of the embed. So that's all it is, is layering, layering it. Spray the, the first layer with alcohol, pour a little bit of soap, spray the embeds, put them in. And then I'll spray this whole thing with alcohol and pour the soap on top of it. So let me see here. Cool enough. Should be cool enough that they don't melt. Okay, the basic entry fee is twenty dollars. Extra we offer So I'm just gonna give it a quick spritz. And how I like to start it is just to go over it lightly. In case if it is too hot, at least it's yeah, it'll cool real quick like that. And plus it gets all in the little holes when you do it this way. Um, you know, fragrance every layer, even the embeds, my fragrance. I'm just going to tap it lightly. I want it all to go inside. And this is on a little bit of a slant, so that's why I have the, the knife under the one side of the mold there so it stays straight. Spray a little bit more for the rest. There's two things I love in this world. It's produce and skincare. And this is where my two loves me. And all the color face masks keep on for 15 minutes. And then... I'll do it when it cools. I'll put a little bit of um, glitter on it after it cools. I can't get that one bubble out. There we go. So after it cools, I'll put a little bit of glitter on it before I cut it. And um, when it's ready to be cut, I'll show you what it looks like when it's cut. I'm dying to see the bottom layer to see if there's even any type of a swirl at all. Like I said, I've never done a swirl in a melt and pour before, so I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I didn't add anything to this to this bar. There's no oatmeal, there's no clays, there's no additives, there's no nothing. It's just the base with the fragrance and with the, the dried lavender buds in between the, the one layer. So that was it. This is a very plain, you know, hopefully, hopefully it'll be a pretty bar. But we'll see what happens. So, and I could see this air bubble here, so that means that they're still inside there. Because that means more soap is still going into it. That's why the air bubble keeps popping up. So I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm going to bang it down a little bit. Make sure that all those embeds are filled with the soap. And when I'm ready to cut it, I'll take a picture of a picture. I'll take a video of myself cutting it. All right? See you guys in a few. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm back. And give me a little bit. And this is ready to be cut. So I'm just going to cut it. Thank you.
And we're going to see what we've got here. Okay, well, it doesn't really look like a swirl on the bottom. Maybe a little bit, but not much. Let's see if we get deeper into the log. Start showing any more of a swirl. And I'm cutting these. I usually cut my soaps at one inch. I'm cutting these at three quarters because even at three uh, at three quarters. This one weighs exactly five ounces. So, I was trying to get them to four ounces, but I think that'll be too small. Because um, I want to wrap these and bring them over to the salon. And see if she will sell them in her salon. So, I just want to do a four ounce straw. But like I said, the four ounces I think is a little too small for my mold. I'm sorry. So this is what they're looking like, but as you can see, there's really, the swirl didn't come out too good. I'm still going to put a little glitter on the top. I actually like the first one the best. It's bigger. But I'm sure they're all going to be different. So I'm just going to keep cutting here. Everyone has a moment when they say, it's real now. When you held him in your arms, you gave him your father's name. When you traded the best job you ever and had. I think, see how um, the lavender buds, they're dragging down the soap. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this over and cut it this way. When did it become real for you? Instead. And let me see how that comes out. Same in this box. Same here. Wendy's. Yeah, so there's see how there's no dragging on that side. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Any haircut. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Knife off. Any place. I mean, I think they look alright. Not like I had hoped. I'm not doing a major, major happy dance right now. Like I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. No, it's not that tight. But it's a decent looking bar of soap. Like I said, not what I was hoping for. Cut a couple more. Clean the knife again. See, now this one looks tiny for me for some reason. Let me see how much this one weighs. I think it shifted. 4.8, still almost 5. So, so these I'll label 4.5 ounces plus. So just in case any of them are under, you know, they're not all 5. At least I know they're 4.5 and up. That one's 5.3. So that's all I'm going to cut for now. But, as you can see, they didn't come out too bad. Like I said, not like I had hoped with the swirly on the bottom. I mean, it still looks... It's not a solid white and it's not a solid purple. But it is, you know, like a, a mix of the two, but not really a defined swirl. But, so that's how my lilacs and bloom came out. And this first slice I did, that one's 5.4. So they're all basically, like that one's only 5, 5.4. 
Yeah, so I'll have to uh, do 4.5 plus ounces. Unless if I wait when I cut them all, if none of them are under 5 ounces, uh, you know, like 4.8 or 4.9, which I think the one was, um, then I'll, I could do them f 5 ounces plus. But, so that's how they came out. Like I said, I'm not doing the happy dance. You know, world about it, but they look okay. I'm trying to see if you could. This lighting in this room is so bad. See, there's a tiny little bit of a swirl in there, but you can't even see it really. But so that's the soap, and um, I'll be wrapping these tonight, doing the labels and that tomorrow. And I hope you've enjoyed this video on how I made this soap. And, um, everybody have a great night. It's about 10.30 p.m. right now. I'm starting to get tired. So, I will talk to you all later. Everybody have a great night, and, um, happy soaping. Bye-bye, everyone.